Hello everyone, I am Alka1993 and welcome to a new Pokemon Vortex video. This video will be a short one. I intended to do the map guide today, or at least start one, um, and record it and then upload it later today, but I discovered something that I did want to share with you, and then I might still record that map guide video later tonight and upload it. Or I think I might actually upload the next part of Pokemon Blue then, and then do the map guide tomorrow. Anyway, there's something I discovered. As you might remember, um, last week we had the Halloween event, where here inside this chapel um, there were a bunch of Zubats, and there was a chance for a rare encounter of Zubat Halloween. However, after the event was over, the entrance was still open, you could still walk around in it, um, however, there were no encounters whatsoever. Something's changed about that, though. Now, I'm not sure when this change happened, it might have been literally the half an hour ago, because there was an emergency update, although I don't think the emergency update will be related to this. But what I did notice is that there are encounters here now. And you might remember that I showed you this resource in the last video, and I also showed you how the, ma uh, the map. If you haven't seen that, go to my last video, um, which shows you the map and exactly how to read this and how to read all these resources. The area I'm in right now isn't listed. It would, it would be below Wild Overgrowth, uh, most likely. Or it'll go between some uh, between some other things. I don't know yet. But this area does now exist um, with encounters. There, um, from what I've noticed, I've walked around here only a short amount of time. There's Zubats, there's Noibat, there's Wubat. So a bunch of bats. And there's some other Pokemon that could be considered uh, related to being scary. Ekans as a snake. Uh, Spinarak being a spider. Um, Silicobra is in here. Uh, likely because there's a cave. I should note that this cave portion and this um, tiled portion uh, of this map, of this section, they don't have a difference in encounters, as far as I can tell. It's all the same encounters. However, I've only been here for a very short time, so I can't confirm what is and isn't here. I, I, I could just say a few Pokemon that I've seen encounter. I haven't seen any rare or Red Legendary Ultra Beast Pokemon that might appear here. I don't know. I, I can't confirm any of that. I, I only just got in here. Um, but I did want to mention that this area exists now with some Pokemon. So if you want to go here and do a bit of exploring, by all means go for it. Oh yeah, uh, Minior is here as well. At least Core Minior. I'm not sure if... Um, was it Minior Shield? Was the other one? At least Minior Core is in here. I've, I've seen that a few times now. Um, that's really all I wanted to show in the video. I did want to ask two more things as I'm continuing to catch things I haven't yet caught this season for Seasonals. By the way, uh, on the screen, if I remember to edit it in, this was my trainer card right before this video. It's looking really good. I've definitely been gaining in terms of rank. I was rank 12 before this video. I was rank 15, I think, at the end of yesterday. And then I think I was still 15th, or maybe just 16th, when I woke up. And then I was able to get back in um, for some good points very quickly. And I'm 12th. Looking very good. I'm gaining on the top 5. Even gaining on number 1, so that's looking good. So maybe even I can get to number 1. It's still a long way to go, I'll admit. And I need to very consistently play every day to get those points. But top 5, for now, I feel is definitely doable. So that's what I'm going for. Speaking of that, though... If you'd like to help me out, um, there is a way to do so. Now, I'm not telling you, like, you're, you're forced to do this in, in no way. Um, but if you have a bunch of level 6 immunity Pokemon, whether that's Duskull or Geodude or Cremorant or anything with an immunity that's level 6, that you're okay with parting with, that you're okay with giving to me, then um, that would be very much appreciated because that saves me time having to catch them. And then I can use them uh, to, uh, through the immunity training with the training accounts to give me more points to help me get towards that number one spot. So if you have any of that, please let me know. Please offer them as a big group on a random weak Pokemon, whatever that I have up for trade. I have a bunch of legendaries and unique stuff there, but also some easily catchable Pokemon. Um, so feel free to put it up for that. Uh, speaking of things, I have put a decent amount of new Pokemon up for trade because I catch a lot of Pokemon while I'm doing things for seasonals. Um, so I've put quite a few new Pokemon up for trade, but I've also put a lot more stuff up on Pokebay. Um, there is some, there are some unique things, think Mystic Magikarp, think Shiny Magikarp, there's a few legendaries like Ternatus Therian, 
Um, some event stuff like the Halloween Goldbat and Zubat or starters like Snivy. Um, some of them will be very high level because I just, let's say, immunity trained them, but I have 10 of them and why would I need to keep 10? Um, some other ones I only quickly just evolved like Agron and Camera up, and I have a bunch of them and I put them up for trade. But there's also quite a few standard things like Geodude, like Vullaby, like uh, Scorvet. If you're looking for any of those, um, please um, just go to the Alc just type in Alco 103 in the auction and you should be able to find this. There's Zapdos, there's Metagross, there's Porygon. Um, I'm currently working on a location evolution, so I, I got quite a few Crabominables. I put up two for auction, I think two for trade as well, and then I have a few in reserve for later on. Right now, I'm in side quest, I'm in a magnetic area, so I can do the evolutions for Magneton, Magnezone, uh, Nose Pass, Probo Pass, and Charge Bug, Vigavolt. I have a full set of Probo Pass, but I don't have a full set of Magnezone yet, so I've been in the in the abandoned power plant on the second floor for a while, trying to find a Mystic Magnemite, so I could get a Mystic Magnezone, because that's the only one uh, I still miss out of the Magnezone set. So I'm, I'm going to keep going there until I find that Mystic Magnezone. Because I really want to complete that set before I continue with side quests. So if you happen to have a Mystic Magnemite, or Mystic Magneton, or Mystic Magnezone that you're willing to part with, uh, that you're willing to trade to me, please um, offer that on one of my Pokemon. Uh, that'd be appreciated. If you and Same thing for any of the unique Grubbin, Charger Bug, or Vigavolt as well, because I think I have like standard Vigavolt and then um, one more, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I have Dark and Standard. If you have any of the other, so Metallic, Mystic, Shadow, or Shiny, Vicavolt, or any of its pre-evolution, so Grubbin or Charger Bug works as well, you're willing to part with, please let me know, and uh, p perhaps we can trade for it. That would be appreciated, but yeah. Uh, th that's the short video. Just wanted to tell you, like, to tell you the few things that, that I said at the end, but also, hey, this area exists, and there are some Pokemon here if you want to hunt there. Maybe you can find a Legendary or um, a UB that I haven't found yet. That's all for the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please always remember that you are worth it. Goodbye. <laughs>